Okay, guys, I just went ahead and just I just randomly uh, made some uh, contact and up positions. Okay, so if you just press play here, this is all I have. Okay, see, and I think I'll end this animation maybe around 200 or less. Okay, it doesn't matter at this point because I'm basing it on just intuition, and I have another one done for you guys, as you know. Uh, where is it? It's in my. I've done a few here for you guys. I think this is work in progress one, work in progress two here. Let's see what it looks like here for a second. This was the real one I think I was working on with you guys in class. So I'm just making a new one here. Okay, there you go. All right, so I'm just doing a different one altogether. All right, I'm just gonna leave it on pause here. All right, get out of this and let's make this happen. Okay, as I said earlier in that quick intro, I just want this ball to start here and end somewhere here, maybe one third in, okay? So at this point, ding, 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 ding. And if I leave this, let's say at 200 right now, okay? So let's say, boom, we'll do something around here, okay? So at this point, okay, here I'm looking, everything is red, that means I've pressed S. I have my record button at 160. I'm just going to slide this over. Oh, come on. Okay, Rick, be good to me. Just click here gently and then just bring this across, okay? Somewhere around here. All right, so now let's look at Translate X. Press F. Okay, it looks like it's fast out and, and then slow into the stop here, okay? Let's see what that looks like. Boom. Okay, cool. There's a little roll that looks a little closer to the to the actual uh, reference. All right, so far so good. So I'm just gonna say boom here. I'm gonna go for for B, and I added let's say translate capital X. That's what I've done. Now I'm gonna do another one, and I'm gonna say tr and rotate Z. Okay, so we'll go to rotate Z. We're right here. Ding 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 ding. It rolls right right about here. Okay, press E only on one axis. I'm guessing it's this guy here. I'm gonna press S for a second, and I'm just gonna rotate a few times, okay? There. All right, I'll just, and I like it at a four, forward diagonal position. Hopefully this makes sense. Let's see how this is gonna turn out. I'm just gonna click here, F for here, okay? And what's going on here? Oh, okay, this normally is flat there. So let's just leave it as is. Let's see what happens, okay? One. And we're having some bounces, not bad. A little settle, wow, sweet. Okay, <laughs> this is better than I expected, okay? Um, not bad. Yeah, better than I expected. So let's do the settle at this point, okay? Now, I've told you guys in the past that what we wanna do is, look, I'm just gonna zoom in here really close so you guys can watch this, okay? So just pay attention here for a second. So look, roll, 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 somewhere you stop here, right? So let's backtrack. And we're going to do our settle, just maybe something like this, okay? So you guys learned this already, but what, what's happening is we're forgetting a hold, okay? So if I press, like this is S already, everything is red over here, it's red, right? So I'm just going to middle scroll down on 160, and I'm going to copy it maybe to six frames. Let's go, 166, something like that. I'm going to press S, no change, okay? So far, if I just roll back now, it's going to go boom. Just a note, uh, rule of thumb, if you're having a hard time fixing this, delete the roll, the, the delete the move forward on the X and do it again. Because I've, I've spent hours at times trying to fix this. Sometimes if I delete the position and redo it again, and you know, Maya's nicer to me. Okay, back to my point right here. Let's explain the, the, the settle, okay? So we know that we're, we, there's, you know, it settles beautifully here, but I just wanna just the tab back like that, like look. Okay, see how I'm rolling here? So if I press option, comma, it's one frame back. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that's that's pretty good right there. I don't know, 152, right? So what I'm gonna do is middle scroll and I'm gonna bring this somewhere back here, just like that process. And let's see what we have. <laughs> okay, so you, okay, so let me just zoom out a second here, I don't know. 
okay, this is where you have to, you, you know, eyeball it in a sense. And I know, look, guys, there's no perfect method for animation. Okay, I'm just giving you rules of thumb, and you know, I want I want to start this off frame, something like that. Let's see, ding, 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 right here. Okay, cool. So let's just watch this. Okay. And I'm going to have to do a play blast, obviously. Let's see what's going on. But by the show nerves. And then we're just going to right. Okay, don't crash, please. Let's just press S. Maya gods are good to me today. Let's go here. New demo. What is this? 4B. Okay, 4B. And let's see what we got. Okay. Really? That small? <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on here. I'll show you guys how I did this background. I did that. I learned that from Anim School, actually. Okay. Okay, we can tweak this a bit more, but as far as I'm concerned, this is pretty good for you guys right now. Okay, so look, let's see how it looks. Boom, boom. Okay, it's, it's going a little fast here. Okay, so I'm going to do one more thing for you guys. Let's see how much time do I have. Okay, good. Five something minutes, right? Cool. Okay, what I'm going to do now. Okay, so let's just pretend I'm happy with this. I'm Pretend that I'm happy with the framing, even though I'm not. Okay, if I go in here in the IPR, and you're, gonna, you're not going to see that. You're going to see all dark, right? Okay. Easiest thing we're going to do right now, as you can see, we don't really have any lights in here. Ooh, look at that silhouette. Nice. So we're just going to go Arnold. Lights like before. Sky Doom. Sky Doom light. And I'm just going to hit the IPR button and watch the difference. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. Okay. So at this point, what you would do normally is you leave animation. You go to rendering and make sure you have everything written out in your settings here. So I'll, I'll call this ball bounce work in progress three. And then you just go right to the last underscore here, number. So we go uh, frame one to, let's just leave it at 198, whatever, 200. And then you figure out the pics, uh, the, the size of the frame. Okay, let's not do 19, 20, 1080, okay? We don't have that much time to waste unless you wanna render it the, at the after school or something. Okay, this is good enough. I'm not touching anything here. Look at the difference, like you said earlier, boom. This took less than a second, let's say a second. So just 200 seconds here, okay? So I would go into rendering and then render, render sequence. You just boom, bang it out like that. Just select this, you don't have to come over here to the options, leave that alone for now because the camera I have set is front. So Z is my uh, forward direction, okay? Uh, X is actually uh, anyway this is good all right so I'm gonna leave this here for you guys I hope it makes sense so look at this again boom boom I don't like that hop here that goes too far so that technically tells me I need to fix my X right so watch this show nerves curves let's see what's what we got here okay we'll go to translate X and of course you need to frame it whoa there it is that tells me why right so I'm just gonna, okay, so I wanna be somewhere here, look. Okay, so watch this. Okay, so when, when you're making these changes, please leave your scroll button, like meaning your playhead, um, where you think is gonna make a difference. So right around here, I want this, this is okay. That goes really far. So what I might just do is just, just bring that back a tad. Okay, so let's see how that goes. Let's see if, if it works or not, ding. A little better. I have to spend more time on this. I think this is more than good enough for now for you guys. Okay, and my rotate Z. I'm gonna hit F. Yeah, I could have even I could have even made this diagonal. So it's a steady speed here. I don't know how that's gonna mess things up now. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I don't mind it at all. <laughs> okay, so if you wanted to to take a position that rotates further over, you take something from here, middle scroll pop it over here and press S, stamp another key, you're good to go. All right, this was awesome. I hope this helps you guys under 10 minutes. And what I'll do next time, I'll just post a, a rendering, a frame by frame using the IPR here, okay? That'll look kind of nice. All right, belly and out. Thank you very much, everybody. See ya. I hope this makes sense to you.